In this video, we're peeling back the layers of Autogen's group chat mechanics, revealing the intricate dance of code and conversation that powers the experience. Think of it as a deep dive into the inner workings. Our focus is on understanding the API requests to OpenAI and the underlying function calling mechanics. We're using a group chat setup similar to our previous videos. Missed them? Don't worry, the links are in the description. No treasure map needed. Our setup includes a user proxy capable of searching the internet via Google and determining the end of the chat. The researcher, equipped with function mapping, can also perform Google searches. The reporter synthesizes summaries based on the researcher's findings, and of course, we have our manager steering the group chat. To grasp how these configurations translate into language model requests, we'll examine the client class in Autogen's library. Therefore, let's navigate together into the Autogen library and the folder named OAI. I've tweaked a line in the client PI to reveal the parameters and responses for each API request, because who doesn't like a little peek behind the curtain? This allows us to examine the parameters and responses of every request made to the OpenAI API in detail. Our objective is to document these requests and then thoroughly analyze them in the latter half of the video. Let's see how it looks in action. First, the user proxy sends a task to the chat manager to write a brief summary about Tesla. In the params output below, we see the parameters sent to the OpenAI API, visible thanks to our custom print function. The researcher suggests to the user proxy to use the search function with the query about Tesla company summary. After executing the search function, the reporter has the results to craft a short summary. And in a dramatic finale, the word terminate ends the chat, like dropping the mic at the end of a show. So that's the story of the chat manager's engaging conversation with the agents. For those who couldn't decipher the unformatted parameters and responses, we'll now take a closer look and break them down in detail. To make things crystal clear, we'll grab the parameters and responses and enlist our trusty sidekick, ChatGPT, to transform them into a beautifully formatted, reader-friendly script. Just paste it in and let ChatGPT wave its digital wand to bring order to the chaos. And voila! The messages now stand out, each with its content part under roles like system user proxy or assistant, like actors ready for their scene. Once ChatGPT has finished sprinkling its formatting fairy dust, we'll dive into these data for a closer, more leisurely look. The first request to the ChatGPT API initiates a role play game within a group chat setting. The system's role is defined to present the available characters, a user proxy, a researcher capable of using Google to gather news, and a reporter who crafts summaries from the researcher's findings. The user proxy then makes a request to write a short summary about Tesla. Following this, the system prompts the participants to read the conversation and decide on the next role to assume, choosing from user proxy, researcher, or reporter. In the response from the OpenAI API, the language model has decided, opting for the researcher role as the next character to be played. This choice is delivered under the message field with the content clearly stating researcher. In response, Autogen constructs a new message, defining the system's role to echo the researcher's capabilities as outlined in the system's message content. It also assigns the user role to the actual task at hand, which is to write a summary about Tesla. Additionally, Autogen includes an array of functions that the researcher has at their disposal, detailing the search function, which allows the researcher to search Google and return titles, links, and snippets based on the provided query. ChatGPT responds to our request by suggesting the execution of the search function with the query parameter populated with Tesla to gather relevant information. 
Autogen proceeds to execute the search function with the parameters provided earlier, which include a query for Tesla. Subsequently, the response to the next request sent to OpenAI's API contains the complete search results, which have been truncated for brevity in this view. The response also includes sufficient context from previous messages, ensuring that the instruction to read the above conversation and then select the next role can be appropriately followed. In this interactive role play, participants are engaged in a dynamic back and forth, where they choose roles and complete tasks to progressively build the narrative. With each step, the context is enriched, guiding the selection of the next role. The overarching goal remains constant, to gather information and synthesize a summary about Tesla, with each role's actions influencing the direction and outcome of the game. If this dive into the interactive world of roleplay with AI has provided you with valuable insights, please like the video and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.